All right, another video, new minis. Now these minis are all like <laughs> partially started, which is why I decided I would just work with these today and finish them. Um, so I started this one a couple months ago, almost a year ago, and uh, Daniel started these two and he asked me, he said I could finish them for him. Now I can't stand the way they're so wobbly and like bent and stuff and I hear that the way to correct this is to steam the plastic and then hold it where hold it in place to straighten it out as it cools and then it should stay properly. I'm going to try that today, but instead of using steam, I'm just going to use the water from our, our spigot because we get really hot water and I'm going to see if that's going to work. It work. Look how straight it is. Nice. All right. I might be imagining it, but I think he looks way better than he did a little bit earlier. Sweet. Okay. Um, now the problem I have with her, she's a little like back heavy. I'm going to see if I can warm up this plastic and get her to be more sitting on her toes. She stands. She stands upright. She's not tipping anymore. Okay. I really didn't think that heating up the plastic would do that much, but it really works. So I highly recommend it. It's like, I really did not think that would work. Look, she's not tipping over at all. Well, there she did, but that's just because I pushed her. Now I'm noticing this wizard. <laughs> You can, pro you can see it from the rear. It has a bit of a lean, so I'm gonna fix him too. All right, so this took a little bit longer to do. I just held it under the water a little bit longer because there was more plastic connections here, so it just took a little bit longer. I will have to compare the shot I took before to this now just to so I can know for myself for sure whether it made a difference, but I feel like he is more upright. I might just be imagining it though. I'll have to check it out later. Hi everybody, I'm Jana from One Pip Wonder and I do board game reviews and vlogs, um, top tens and, and silly um, animated board game box videos. And I'm also just getting into the hobby of mini painting. So I haven't actually gotten a lot of like legit miniature paints. I just have some army painter washers and pretty much everything else I'm just using from what I have from my artistic days. A lot of acrylic leftover paints is what I'm using for my minis. So I'm just trying things out. I'm not super professional, but if you know how to paint minis and you have suggestions or tips, please leave them in the comments. That would be awesome for me and anyone else who's watching these videos. Today, as you saw, I have these like little minis that are <laughs> partially started. I'm feeling a little bit better about them already because they're standing up straight now. So that's cool. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do what I've done in past videos where I'm going to do some base coat, some, some color blocking where I just put a lot of color on the miniature to get started and then slowly going in with more and more details and then adding a wash and then going in with further highlights to really make certain things pop and come alive. Okay, so I think the thing that makes holds me back the most when doing minis is deciding what colors to do. And I, um, I watch different people paint minis and Rob Oren is someone I watch his channel is Rob's tabletop world. And he just goes, he doesn't double think stuff. He doesn't, uh, overthink stuff. So I'm going to try very much to be in the Rob mindset and just go for it. Just go with my gut instinct and my first instinct and hopefully get through all of these within three hours. 
I think most people struggle with time management when it comes to miniature painting. And it's the most frustrating thing about this hobby because this thing is an inch and a half tall. It should not take eight hours to paint something that's an inch and a half tall, but it does. It really does. And I think that's what holds a lot of us back from really diving into the hobby because that's frustrating. So I'm going to do my darndest and try to get a little bit faster, not sloppy, not like for the sake, like I don't want to do a, a less of a good job, but I also don't want to overthink the, the process. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> dry and then I'm gonna put a wash over it. I'm gonna start working on him next and he has a lot of like just most of him is the horse so that should all be pretty natural looking. Um, his <laughs> spear is still a little bent. I don't know. I guess my experiment didn't really work but that's okay. All right. I think I'm going to give him, I'm going to Google horse and the first horse I see, that's what color I'm going to make him, even if I have to paint over some of what's here. Images, horse, brown. I saw this one first. <laughs> nice detailing and I'm going to start on the last guy and then I'm going to do a wash over all of them at the same time and I am doing well for my time limiting. I still have a half an hour to block paint the next mini. Daniel had already done a lot of the block coating. He really liked how the pony, the coloring of this pony so I'm not going to change it and he really liked this blue. I find it rather much but he really liked it and it's like a wizard type guy so it's okay if he like stands out a little bit um i kind of want to put like a star pattern i'm really tempted to put like a star pattern on his cloak so i'm gonna play around with that idea or at least i'm gonna add a different color onto it to give the fabric a little bit more depth <laughs> I didn't quite finish all my minis, but that's okay because I'm pretty much done. I just have a little bit of tweaking to do, a little bit of detail I want to add to a few spots, and then I'll be ready to add the wash to them all. And then um, I think I'm going to go in and just do a little bit of highlighting here and there, and then I'll be done. So considering I I I tackled three in just a few hours today, maybe I didn't quite do it in three hours exactly, but I still did really good, so I'm happy.
basement under fluorescent lighting. And ever since I, the last few times I, I painted up here, I felt like the washes just looked super muddy. But before I was pretty happy with how they looked and I just was, had a really obvious thought that the lighting is so much better up here and I probably just didn't notice it. It's making me realize I wanna buy some more products. I wanna get a varnish that's just like a clear finish that will give it a nice matte finish instead of trying to use the washes that have these tones in that are just making the overall finish look um, muddy looking. That's one thing I was just thinking about as I was looking at my finished product. I'm like, ah, oh, I just don't like how it looks with even the lightest like light tone that I've been using here for some of these fantasy figures. It just seems too like mucky looking. Thanks for watching this little video of me doing these three miniatures. I'm really happy with the amount of time that I finished them in. Um, I, I hope they don't look too sloppy. You'll have to let me know. I did them in three, three hours. Does it look like it? Let me know what you think. Is it better to take your time, even if it is like an all day thing? Is it better to take all day to work on your miniature or is it better to um, you know, get more done in a more reasonable amount of time? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.